Well, when major storms and heavy rain hit Metro Detroit, municipalities are often forced to open the gates and send raw sewage right into Lake St. Clair. And if they don't, then thousands of basements will flood. But this massive underground project in St. Clair Shores is looking to change that. Jacqueline Francis live on this story, and this project has been years in the works. Jacqueline. Devin, it has. So today's grand opening was much anticipated, and officials tell us that new sewer system that's beneath us right now, right here, they tell us it's all about protecting Lake St. Clair. One, two, three. Did it work? <laughs> there we go. Hey, all right. The grand opening for a sewer project may not seem glamorous, but this is about protecting our lakes. Macomb County kicked off the project more than a year and a half ago, shutting down roads to dig into the ground and revamp the sewer system. What we did is we have built here about a $12.5 million project that we call our in-system storage project. Before this, when a heavy rain came, the underground infrastructure wasn't being used to its full potential. Now it is, and the sewer system will be able to store the water without flooding basements or discharging sewer overflow into Lake St. Clair. So this uh, particular apparatus, this uh, rubber bladder here, is going to allow us to do that uh, to a larger degree. The new system will reduce combined sewer overflows in Lake St. Clair by 10 to 15 percent. It's really got one purpose, and that, that is to stop combined sewer overflows from continuing to discharge into Lake St. Clair, which has literally been going on for decades, generations. With its completion comes the reopening of Beaconsfield Road south of Nine Mile and East Point, which has been closed since the start of the project. We're happy this is going to be open and putting the cars back on Beaconsfield. Over the next few weeks, they're going to put the finishing touches on the project by fixing up the landscaping. Of course, that's great news for neighbors around here after a year and a half of seeing construction cones and equipment. Reporting live in East Point, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Good deal. All right, Jacqueline.